Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Sondering Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for the 12th of May 2024. So happy Mother's Day. We're going to be using the Green Witch Tarot by Anne Mora. You'll see that in the description box down below in case you're unfamiliar with this uh, very popular mass market deck. Anyway, let us begin. All right, my lovelies, I have all your cards out on the table. We have one A, six major arcanas, no synchronicities that I can see. Anyway, let's get into the best part of your day. We start out with the lovers in the reverse. The Four of Cups. The Eight of Cups in the reverse. The Five of Wands in the reverse. star in the reverse and the hair font in the reverse <laughs> this is very interesting So either you've experienced a disconnect from a source or certain relationships are strained or estranged, let's put it that way. Um, and since it's Mother's Day, a lot of this might actually pertain to you in relation to your, um, your mother or even a spouse or ex-spouse, because let's face it, um, when we get married, we have kids, we get divorced, uh, you know, some of the best examples you can give your kid is to still celebrate with your kids for Mother's Day, even though that particular woman is not um, the woman of your life. It's still the woman of your kid's life. Okay, but this is what we're looking at. This is what we're thinking about. Okay, and that's basically what here is, is not to run away from this type of um, uncomfortableness or a strange or strenuous uh, connection. And yes, there might be some uh, water underneath the bridge. But instead of running from it, ignoring it, and um, washing your hands off it, the best thing you can do is to really think about it, to look at it. Well, what's the best way forward? What's the best thing I can do? What, um, in some cases, how do I heal it? You know, if there's water underneath the bridge, how do we let bygones be bygones so we could do this? And for some of you, this is a relationship that probably hasn't been um, at the forefront for a time. Hence why it's prominent to think about it now, because let's think about it, it's Mother's Day. Some of us, we live our lives and then we're like, oh yeah, Mother's Day is next week. And then we start really thinking about our mother heavily. Um, hence the energy here. This may not be something that we think about every day or um, try to action every day. Okay. feeling that this is kind of looking um, at the good, the bad, the ugly, <laughs> and coming to terms with it. But we're going to we're gonna see what else comes out, um, because that's a lot so far. The worst part of our day, we start out with the Nine of Swords. 
I dropped the card. Um, the Two of Swords in the reverse. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. The Three of Cups. And the Page of Cups. Okay. So, way too much overthinking <laughs> or stress and anxiety may prevent us from even uh, thinking about it. Uh, it definitely prevents us um, from making choices. Perhaps a fear of making a choice and screwing it up. So we make no choice. We find it difficult. Especially when it comes to seeing the um, best route forward. Maybe that's your problem. You're thinking too much on the negative aspect that seeing a healthy, non-toxic, productive way forward is extremely difficult because you're always looking at the negative, happy, um, aspect is kind of absent so you're not looking in that direction you're embodying the more negative energy so that's all you, you see that's all the outcomes you see okay that would be the ugly side <laughs> and the bad side looking at the bad past the water underneath the bridge the ugliness that could continue and we're ignoring the good. Okay. Whether that's good moments in the past or good moments we cre create now or the potential good moments we could have in the future. Okay. So obstacle or how to get over our obstacle. We start off with the King of Swords. The Hangman. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. The King of Cups. Seven of Swords. The Devil. Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Queen of Wands in the reverse. The Ace of Cups in the reverse. Judgment in the reverse. The Ten of Wands in the reverse. And the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so th th this is why examining it is, is so important, um, past, present, and future, when it comes to uh, the, this particular relationship or relationships, because let's face it, we could have more than one um, female in our life, and of course, if this is also a disconnect from source, that is even more important. And it's so we get... A little bit of a shift in our perspective especially on the areas that we're going or not going in other words are we just getting dizzy and following our face because the direction we need to go is the direction we're not going believe it or not the best route is kind of like the opposite direction it's outside our comfort zone 
Um, so we have to switch tactics here. And yes, uh, that's an obstacle to get over in and of itself. A lot of us don't like to leave comfort zones. A lot of us, if we keep heading in one direction, we want to keep going. Um, it's just like the laws of inertia. Um, it takes that perspective shift here with the hangman for us to realize, oh, okay, so I've been going, um, you know, 100 miles in the wrong direction this whole entire time. It's why I'm not getting where I need to be. So I got to turn myself around and travel twice as far to get where I was supposed to go. But this will actually help you when you start to look at it to get you back on track. And in this case, it could be you realizing that certain interactions are um, not bearing fruit, they're not helping, and it's because of how you approach it or the fact that you're not approaching it because you're refusing to get outside of a comfort zone. Um, perhaps you're the one that needs to be, you know, being the better person and reaching out first, taking the initiative, and maybe that is not you because that's foreign and scary and all that jazz. You know, you can't expect uh, repairing a relationship of any sort, whether it is a connection to source or to another human being, uh, if you don't put in some sort of effort, you know, you can't not put in effort and not try to meet them halfway, but get angry at the other person for not trying to meet you halfway. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. <laughs> And it seems like this is part of the problem is because in the past you've just been waiting uh, to no avail for something to happen. Well, of course, uh, no action, no changes, no, you know, bearing fruit, no improvements. Yes, that is disappointing, but what can you expect if you don't try to meet people halfway, if you don't try to change something, you still have to change a variable. Now, is staying with the, the same old, same old um, easier because you know it? You know what to expect? Yes. But there's no stamina, there's no staying power, there's no opportunity for change in that. And this is what we have to realize. Now some of you at this point are probably like, well Celeste, my relationship with my mother is great. I don't need to put more effort into Mother's Day. Well, guess what? We don't all live forever. So taking more initiative, more opportunities to thoroughly enjoy the time that you have now, while you have it, while it's there, while it's available, while it's right in front of you, is the best thing you can do. So even if you have a, let's say, a, a, a good relationship with somebody, but at, there's always that point where you're like, okay, I'm bored with this. All right, can I leave yet? Are we done? H have I done my duty? Um, you know, have I fulfilled my obligation? That's probably the part we need to examine is why do we feel like that? Is that necessary? Um, also, in the future, are we going to kick ourselves right in the butt because we had the opportunity to spend time with somebody and didn't know it was the last time or did we have the opportunity to do more, to say more, to, you know, experience more, to create more memories? And we had so many opportunities to do that. And in the future, we're going to look back and be like, okay, every single time in the last 10 years, I've been with this person before they died and I only spent a half hour with them when I could have spent three hours with them. 
and done this and went there and experienced this and had all these memories. Mm. Oh yeah, we're getting into the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm. I know a lot of people are not going to probably like this message for the day. A lot of people are probably uh, going to reject it at first. Um, and it's up to you whether or not you accept that or if you uh, take the opportunity to truly look at it and be like, okay, okay, yeah, I do that and take ownership of it or to realize that time is fleeting and to use your time to the utmost regardless of whether that is your mother or what opportunities are available to you instead of uh, you know being scared and alone and frightened and wishy-washy and on the fence about choices that are very uh, definite especially when it's something that you could connect to, experience, things that support you, things that uplift you, things that make you happy, things that help you with a stronger foundation, because um, let's face it, family is a strong foundation, um, connection to source, your spiritual side is a foundation. Um, if you constantly agonize over that and are displeased with it, take more time to look at it, find out why that is. because there's more information there. There's more things to see. There's more things to know. And that will actually help you going forward to correct that. Like I said, you could be just traveling in the wrong direction and just need to turn around for a, a second. All right, I did add up all your cards, by the way, for the sake of numerology, for those that enjoy it. Everything here adds up to 166, which only reduces to four, which is um, strategy your foundation, your security. Um, and that brings me back to our uh, comfort zone. A comfort zone is a security blanket. So just be aware that you might have pinned yourself, unfortunately, in a corner of a comfort zone and you now need to leave it. Why? Because there's better security. There's a stronger foundation outside of it. So you need to learn to move in the correct direction. What action you need to take in order to have that. And for those of you that do like the astrology, let me pull it up here because apparently my screen did not stay where it needed to. <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulties. Um, the moon in Cancer, sextiles, Uranus in Taurus. It's easy to be independent and feel good about doing things differently, in which case we're embodying more of the second half. We're examining everything and hopefully seeing where we're stuck at a comfort zone and maybe getting out of it. All right, my lovelies. And this is what I have for you for today. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.